Hey boy, you missed the party! You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time! Nice cigars! I roll them myself! Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Drat. What sort of person would carry around this many keys?
ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! I can't use a videotape with that. Wow! This is loud! Whew. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank, Nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express dance. You'll ruin my Pony Express dance. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Negative feelings. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. 
Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why, as if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. It's already open. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. This beautiful 4,000 karat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family.
I'll just run to the Chronogen. There's something in the Chronogen. I'll use the Chronogen. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh... Now pick up your lap coat and get to work. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well... quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. 
no? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag ready or not. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on it? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. I don't understand that technical st Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Oh no! 
I've lost it. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Put it. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. all sudsy now. Dum -de dum Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say! What a genius.
Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Well, I waited, but she never picked it up. I hope she's okay. I'm just a failure. I'm just a failure. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. just won the lottery. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it! Get lost, kid!
Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is 28% below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. I've noticed that they seem to do well with a man on first after a fly ball when the opposing pitcher is left-handed wearing a green hat. Fascinating. Is that a W390B verbal spending report? No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. Ah. Uh, say, what's the filing date for a BFD 206ZZ insufficient credit applications form? What is it? What have you done with Dr. Fred? We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think about staging some kind of rescue. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Is that a W390B verbal spending report? I can't, it's stuck. It's already open. It won't fit through those little grommets.
Let's see, it's 101 99957. Ted is red. See red Ted. something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? make that mistake again. <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh! Hey, I'm a doctor! We're in luck! Well, good luck!
Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond, anyway? Uh... It was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming! Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well! Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Yes! Fine specimens!